guys, I'm back with some more products and some more airbrush makeup as well as regular products to show you. I've taken some time out of doing videos, probably over a month, just to finish my uh, issue six of my magazine. And then I celebrated my birthday and just, just kind of um, spent time with myself. I've been on a fitness kick and I really wanted to lose some weight. Um, I'm a big believer in either own it, change it, but don't not live in the moment because of it. So I wanted to do something for myself and I hit my goal on my birthday and I still in my la I'm in my last two weeks of my self 12 week program, which is a combination of all these things that I've learned in the past that had worked, but I wasn't doing them. And I have had a sea full of trainers and I would say I've wasted most of my money on them. Uh, it still always comes down to you and doing what's right for you, um, depending on your circumstances. So I figured it out. Uh, I'll tell you more about it. I'll probably do a video on that today. I wanted to get ready because I have not been doing makeup videos. I have been wearing makeup, but I've been trying out new foundations. And so I wanted to share that with you. I was a big fan of the Dynair Soft Glow Foundations, which I love, and I still use. And I use the Soft Glow 130 as my base, and I use a highlight of the 117 as through my center lids to brighten. And that's how I do my airbrush type of contour. But I've been found, I found this new brand called, I hope I'm saying this right, Bello Lissio. Um, got it on Amazon. It is a quarter of the price and I wanted to test it out. It is a soft matte. So far I love it. At first I wasn't sure but I think it's because you get used to using one brand. And I and so I gave it a couple goes and I mixed it with my Dynair and I absolutely loved it. So I would do the base with um, this company, Bellicio. Uh, and then I would do Dynair through the center and then I reversed it and used my base 130 from Dynair and then use the highlight from this company um, or what I call the highlight. I always use a dark and light foundation just because I have black hair and I like creating the illusion of light depth, uh, light and some darks and I think that's the trick and, and key to makeup for anybody whether you do it light or if you do it dark you're always playing with lines and light and shadow just like drawing or painting. So, um, yeah, so uh, let's see. I was using, I just, I, today I used a different base color. I just got it in the mail. I mean, it, I ordered it and I got it in a day from Amazon Prime. It's like amazing. So I was using the Golden Tan, and it was perfect for summer. And then my highlight was Buff. Now, Golden Tan has more yellow in it, Buff has a pink. More pinks in it and I like mixing my yellows and pinks if you've watched a lot of my videos I play off of the colors I have a yellow undertone to my skin but I like using yellows and pinks so I don't look flat and for some people who don't like to wear a lot of makeup that helps as well as it creates a highlight as well as it creates some depth and dimension into your skin tone um, I decided to purchase their cappuccino I wanted something that I felt was less flat the um, golden tan was just a little flat on me and because it's fall I believe tomorrow, or is it today, is the official first day of autumn. So I like to lighten up the skin tone. I was doing a self-tanner as well, and I just really wanted to wear shorts and look glowy. And so that was a lot of fun. But for fall, I like to look a little more even, not so glowy. I mean, I love the fake tan. It was actually a lot of fun, and it really opened up options as to what I could wear. For years, I hadn't tan my legs and so my face and arms finally matched my legs when I used the self tanner and I used the Bondi because I could get it at Walgreens and it was really great it matched my skin tone it blended easily I had no problems so I'll do a video on that as well um, maybe it's a little too late but some people tan year round and if you just have farmer tan from driving my hands and arms get so dark um, and then my legs are so white in the fall and winter so I wanted to for some people, you might be in the same boat, so that'll help you even out in case you take a vacation or you just want to look glowy or you want to wear skirts or whatever. Um, I'll talk more about that because I've been trying out all kinds of products during this huge gap of time where I haven't been doing videos. I don't want to be doing videos for the sake of doing videos. I do these for fun because I enjoy it. It's a way of me connecting. 
Um, I haven't been doing makeup or photography for clients. I've been asked to do stuff, and because of what's going on right now, I made a personal choice not to. Um, I did have the good fortune of going full-time as a senior graphic designer for a media company where I am doing editorial full-time. So that also was why my schedule got busier. And I had started that over a year ago, and it went really well. And then with COVID, I just ended up being full-time and working remote, which is great, but now I do longer walks with my dog, and so I am not doing my videos at the crack of dawn like I was doing to get them done. And so now I've been kind of also working that into the process of what do I want to do videos on, when am I going to do them, and what's my purpose with it. I'm not doing makeup or photography for other people at the moment. That may change, but right now I am really wanting to take some time out for me. I did the fitness, I've lost the weight, I still have two more weeks to go, I'm playing around with corset training, I'm just doing a lot of really fun stuff, and really for once, um, getting dressed and doing my own hair, makeup, and clothing, which I hadn't done, like I've been playing in my closet on the weekends, which I found to be a party, and reinventing my wardrobe, and reinventing my look, so um, I'll be doing a video on that, and I'll just kind of show you, and I hope you're enjoying these, or you will enjoy them. But it's all about inspiring you to do what's right for you with the circumstances and, the, and whatever time you're in right now. And things may change. And But it's all about um, taking that moment and really enjoying it. So um, today I started some new products. So let's get started. Uh, I've got the... Um, Benefit eyebrow pencil in soft black and the the gel. This is the travel size. I love it So I if you've watched my videos, you know I do L'Oreal a lot and the reason why is I love this fine tip and I can't find a lot of brands that do a tip that fine um, I'm also growing in my eyebrows and so I like a thicker brow um, and so I like to be able to do small strokes like this and fill them in and so I'm continuing to do the same type of style and I find that even though I'm growing in parts of my eyebrow that you can't really tell um, when I s just kind of do a natural little stroke that's a little bit of a hard edge but you know I play around with it sometimes it's light sometimes it's it's super sharp um, and then I'll go in with my NYX concealer. It has a blue tone base, which looks really good and pops around the eye eyebrow. So this takes me all of like 10 minutes to do. It's not long, it's super fast. And like I said, sometimes I go heavy, sometimes I go light, it depends what I'm doing. And I know the last thing people wanna do right now is get dressed, but it's been my motivator for losing weight. It's been my motivator for reinventing and just creating a new style and just playing and having fun so I hope that inspires you or you get some kind of inspiration to keep going because I know a lot of people are kind of bummed out right now and they're just kind of lost and don't know what to do and you don't need a big budget to kind of live and have fun you just gotta go and do it and have that motivation so this is a little sharp I, don't, I you know I hate that with eyebrows um, but I, when I put the concealer on, it kind of blends it out. So here is, I love this, it's a little gel brow, and I put it over. And it just kind of fills in those gaps, but it's very natural. Um, and I'm using the darkest colors in the line. Because I have naturally black brows, and I'm not for brown brows with black hair. I think that's ridiculous. It's kind of a trend that I see a lot of girls doing, and when I worked for Mac and all that, I was just like cringing when somebody would be like, oh, I want brown brows. You have black hair on your face. It, like, it just didn't make sense to me. Anyway, whatever. So that is the pencil and the gel. I love this travel size. It's just a cute little piece that you can stick in your purse. And once again, the uh, Bello Elysio Foundations Airbrush. And I used my Express Compressor by Dynair. Um, love this compressor. It was my go-to until the One Gun came out. Um, I probably have had this about a year. It's completely dead. Don't know why. Don't care. Can't be bothered to call them about it. I'll probably just buy a whole new set and get the makeup with it because they don't sell it separate. Um, but Old Faithful never lets me down. And this is my uh, Express Go from Dynair. And I don't know if they sell that one anymore, but it just seems to always work no matter what while everything else is breaking down, like the newest ones. And I love this one, it was great. But um, 
it's just kind of a sign of the whole process of what happened with this. I did a video, I loved it, they loved it. And I did a video on this where um, they loved it, copied my makeup look, used another girl, wanted to, before all that, they said how they wanted to uh, work together, blah, 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 never heard from them, followed up, never heard from them. They didn't have the courtesy to even talk to me, but copied my makeup look. So the fact that this just totally broke down a year later, that just kind of, uh, suits the whole mood of what happened and I'm not worried about it I'm just gonna buy another one from them and get the makeup like I said uh, you purchase the guns the guns it sounds so dramatic the kits and you get a certain makeup you can pick your shade so I'm just gonna get it in my shade since I'm not doing other people right now and uh, I'm really having fun with dressing up and kind of inventing my wardrobe and doing my own look and I think like a lot of photographers you get, you're so behind the camera, you forget to do your own stuff and kind of take care of yourself. And so losing weight was just like a really cool thing to do before my birthday. As well, I launched issue six of Dirty Glamour magazine um, on my birthday, which was fun. It was August 31st. And it was just a really cool way to celebrate everything I've done in the last decade um, in regards to makeup, photography, building a business, living in a new country, um, you know, creating my life, moving like three times, three or, f three or four times, changing careers with different, you know, jobs and people and, you know, and just everything I've been through. So it was kind of like a celebration. And then losing the weight, you know, I still have two more weeks and I've already kind of hit my goal and now I'm fine tuning, but then I'll do another goal. And then um, it's a good thing to do. It just kind of keeps you going and it keeps things fresh. And changing my style was just, sorry, dropping curling irons, makeup. How can you tell I haven't done a video in so long? I'm talking a mile a minute. I've just been really inspired. And if I can share that inspiration with you and you can grab a piece of it to do something with your own life, or to create some kind of change. I love change, I think change is good. Not enough people do it, people get scared, and it's okay. I know these are weird times right now, and but you can still live, have fun. You can still reach for things, even though, you know, it feels like your world may be falling apart. There is a silver lining. Okay, so I've got some other exciting things coming up. In the next hmm, two weeks, I'm gonna be trying brow lamination instead of microneedling. One reason is I didn't want to make the commitment. I also like changing kind of the shapes of my brow and that takes me to my next thing. I'm also going to be trying lashes and I'm not going to do mega volume. I'm going to do like a hybrid lash. Not too natural but a little natural. Um, and I, I'm new to both of them. I've never tried either. So I'll keep you posted on that and do a video. That should be a lot of fun because I really wanted to wake up and have perfect eyebrows and eyelashes and almost like be glammy. And it's not something I think I would do all the time, but it'd be really fun to try it. And I think for the purposes of these videos, it'd be great information for you guys. So um, stay tuned for that. And if you haven't yet, click the bell for notifications on my newest videos, like, share, and subscribe my videos. It really helps me out. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel. Um, it's a great way to get the videos without having to search for them. So I, like I said, I've got some fun stuff coming up and I've got, I'm on my last pair of lashes. They're kind of tatty and ratty. I love the look of them though, but I'm kind of holding out for buying new ones because I'm getting my lashes done in about three, four weeks. And then in about two weeks, the brows. And I just some, I just really wanted to do some stuff for myself. And this is my chance to do it. And I'm going to share the information on that for you. So the girl I'm going to has great reviews. I would have had it already done, but she had to cancel because she, you know, was going out of town. Totally fine. Um, it just gave me more time. Everything happens for a reason. As strange as that sounds, but it always seems to work out. So... So once again, let's get back to the makeup. I just cut my bangs and colored my hair. If you want to see a video on that, let me know. I'm just kind of having fun primping and prepping. Okay, so we've got a nice strong brow. I've also changed my skincare. I'm using Shiseido, which I'll do a video on that. Um, I did a video in the summertime on the Neutrogena Retinol, which I liked and it helped, 
but it got to be a little bit too dry and, and, and reddening, which retinol does. So I put those products aside and I use them at night when I need them right now. And then I switched into the Neutrogena Hydrating uh, Serum and Gel Cream and Eye Cream. Beautiful, amazing, was great for the summer. And now that I'm going into the fall, I had actually bought a gift for my mom last year of Shiseido skin creams and serums. And um, there was a great sale. I got gorgeous product for an amazing price. And then I never shipped it to my mom. Actually, I was gonna drive it up because it made more sense. COVID hit and I tried to ship it recently and the prices are insane to mail up to Canada from the US and that's because they don't really want you shipping stuff. They're trying to contain this thing. So I decided not to and when the time is right, I will purchase and bring it back up to her as a gift or I might just give her cash as a special surprise, which everybody loves cash as I've been told. And so <laughs> if that's the case, I'll do that and let her uh, purchase it. I just got it at Macy's on a 15% off cosmetic sale, which is unheard of in the beauty industry. And so I purchased it and I ended up now using the products. I've been using it for about four days and my skin is fucking amazing. Um, I love it. It's, uh, I'm using a, I'm using probably a few more products than I actually need, but I thought, what the hell, just go and have fun. And the purposes of this video, why not? Because if I can share this information, it can only help you as well as I find it really fun and enlightening to kind of do this stuff. It keeps me going. So I'm using their, um, and I will do a video where I pull out the products and show you, but I'm using two serums, a serum and a concentrate, a skin cream, and then I'm using a whitening, brightening cream. My mom has dark circles from having cancer and just um, her own skin color genetics. She's a lot darker than me. And so she's had a lot of trouble with skin cancer. Not skin cancer, sorry. She's had cancer, but it shows up in the skin and, the, and a lot of traumatic illnesses will do that. And so um, this has helped her eliminate dark spots as that she never had before. And it can be very traumatic for people. So some of these products are really great. And so if you catch one of this and you have a friend or somebody going through this, please share because it's traumatic when your body is changing and you can't control it and then it shows outwardly on your face and you can't control it. So she got the whitening, brightening cream and I've been using it. I have developed discoloration in parts and I, as if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been working hard to get rid of that. Right now I look flawless because I use this airbrush foundation and I use, I have to say I use a concealer, the NW, MAC, I've been using this for years to cover discoloration, acne breakouts. It is amazing. It is a heavier concealer. And concealer is basically foundation, okay? So um, this stuff is great. And then I mix it with the airbrush makeup. And that's one thing a lot of people don't realize is that you can mix airbrush with regular products. You can keep your budget well-rounded so you can use the best of both worlds. As well as don't feel you have to use one type of makeup or one type of product line. It's a lot of crap from makeup companies so that you buy only their products or you get stuck in this system that is ridiculous. And I'm all about doing what's right for you right now in your life for whatever circumstances you're in. And I can't stress that enough. Because of everything I've been through with makeup companies, makeup industry, photography, glamour, just the bullshit of it all, I have a real uh, passion for enlightening people and not letting them get sucked in because that drives me nuts because I think I've wasted so much money on makeup, photography, and on fitness that um, I finally figured out what works for me. If it works for you, great. Or if there's one piece that triggers you to find your solution, even better. Okay? Ah, that's a mouthful. Like I said, I haven't done a video in forever. So back to doing makeup. Makeup and chatting, I think that's what today is about. So I'm still using my L'Oreal Liquid Liners Cat Noir. I love this liner. I love a nice black um, cat eye. I do little and I do big, and then I'll use the airbrush to do even bigger. Today we're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna do nice, fresh, light makeup because I just did a beautiful skincare with Shiseido. I did new foundation and I want to keep it light. Um, today's not a busy day. I'm running around doing errands, but I'm just not feeling like glamming, over glamming it. And that being said, I'll probably do over glam it. So anyway, I'm going to go in. I just like to do a nice light line just on my waterline or whatever you want to call it, lash line. Just so when I put the lashes, there's no gaps. I didn't go high out. Today we're just gonna do a nice, elegant makeup. It 
It's all about beautiful skin and just kind of uh, falling into fall, embracing fall. First day of fall. And I like to go right into the corners. Yes, you could do all this with airbrush, but why fight? I really enjoy this process. I enjoy mixing products. I think I come from a very diverse background and it reflects in my art and life is art and art is life. And so I never follow the rules with anything. I always do what's right for me. And I found that's the key to success um, is really just doing what works for you. And I find that reflects in everything I do from the photography to the makeup to hair, uh, all these beauty services to the fitness and training. And the fitness and training, I did healthy, and I did it on my own, and I did my research. I figured out my body type. I figured out what exercises and foods work for that body type. I also took into account my own stomach issues. I have IBS. That's a high-stress um, disease situation, whatever you want to call it. And the only way to eliminate it is to de-stress the body. Reading, relaxing, you know, whatever it takes to de-stress, as well as eating clean. Things happen, people will say, well, you got to de-stress. Well, that's easier said than done. You don't even know half the time what's causing your stress. Or, I mean, nobody walks around wanting to be stressed. It just happens. So the key is, you know, change your mindset, change your world. And so what that means is not changing what's inside of you. It's all about working within the circumstances that you have and using your mind to overcome those challenges. And someone recently took my tagline, reworded it, put a picture of themselves and make the, made themselves look like some kind of prophet. And it's like funny because it still didn't hit the message because they're not living it. They don't understand it. You change your mindset, you change your world. And what that means is when you, when you use your mind to overcome your circumstances, which is one of the hardest things to do because the real jewel of life is a calm mind and when you have a calm mind you can focus and it's not easy to do and so if you're suffering from stress anxieties depressions just even with just current situation what's going on in the world today and you let it get to you and get to your mind you can't calm your mind you can't hit your goals you spin in a circle you purchase things do things eat things that really aren't right for you and then you can't figure out why you can't lose the weight or why you don't have the money etc you know and i'm just doing the actual work. So I'm calming the mind, I'm creating the focus, I'm setting my goals, and I'm taking it one day at a time. I am by no means a mastermind of anything or this lash might look really awful when I put it on, but I'm just going to do it for today because I got to wear my lashes today. I just need a little pop for the purpose of this video. So anyway, yeah. And so, um, Hey, you can steal the tagline. You can try and reword it. You can put a picture of yourself trying to look like a prophet. But the truth is you don't know it. You don't live it. And that's why you're trying to sell it. So if I can help anyone, that's the biggest free piece of information I will give you. So if you're interested in hearing about my fitness journey and how I lost the weight, um, I may just do the video, but leave a comment below. And I'm going to show pictures. I've been documenting by showing pictures and trying in outfits. And that's kind of what inspired me to make my closet, my party, um, this birthday, but not only this birthday, this 12 weeks. And I'm by no means a millionaire or, you know, have unlimited amounts of money, but I somehow figured out how to find gorgeous, beautiful dresses and put together outfits on a budget that work. And I did it getting key pieces that are expensive and good quality, but then also getting my pieces that I know I'll just wear out and then no big deal. And a million retailers out there right now trying to just stay afloat. And so sales are good. And if you're going to reinvent, this is the time to do it because shopping is not at an all-time high. So there is insane sales if you're in the U.S. with retailers. And it's an opportunity and that's what it is. It's an opportunity to rebuild your wardrobe. You don't have to. I mean, people are starving right now. Oops. But if you have the means and you have a small budget, it can be done. It's all about willing what you want and making it work. So don't be ashamed to spend some time and money on yourself. We all kind of hesitate because you don't want to look, you know, like 
don't like, what's the, what's the phrase? You don't want to look like you care, but you do care. And sometimes you just got to clean yourself up, get organized mentally, emotionally, and physically to make your life happen. You can't sit and complain. And if you do sit and complain, perhaps you like it. All right. Lots of chit chat today. It felt right to finish these bangs. I just cut them so they may need another little trim. I have a video on how to cut Betty bangs if you're interested. I found this look just really worked for me and I've stuck with it. And I'm playing around with changing my hair. I don't know how I would change my hair. I think I might keep the bangs. Um, and I'm gonna keep the color just cause I find it easy. And I like black hair. I got so much grief for having black hair growing up and light skin. I don't know, it's hard to explain. That's a whole other video there. Okay, anyway. So the bangs are done. We've got a, a natural nude eye. I'm gonna go in and put a little shadow, create some definition. Let's do the blush first. So I'm gonna go with a nice light pink. These MAC blushes have lasted me forever. And I clean them and I just keep going with them until they run out and I don't even have a, a silver spot in the middle. They just, and that's the thing, when you have beautiful foundation, skincare, you use very little makeup. It just, just seems to last, you know, and I have my trusty old eyeshadow palette. My God, I've had this for four or five years. I could add some more colors, which I might do. I have a ton of neutrals and browns, but I'd love to add some like bright yellow or green just for fun for when you want those little pops. And I have a gorgeous selection of airbrush, neons, and even matte colors. And I love to just add a little powder to the airbrush because I find when you're in a rush and you, you go a little too fast, you can have some streaking so it just taps in. As well as it's just nice. Like I said, I love mixing products and I hope you find that inspiring and do the same, not feel tied in or forced to use one makeup line or one look or what have you. Okay, I'm gonna go with a warm brown. My energy is all warm and happy. And my the way my eyelids are, and it could be just age, um, I find that I have to be careful with liner and stuff because especially on this eye, I find that it'll stick to the, the top of my eye and it will really um, create a black line. So if I go too big with my liner, today I didn't, I did a very natural. We're gonna keep it fresh. And as you can see, the foundation's very, even though I have two colors on a light and dark, it's still a little flat, but trust me, it's not as flat as it was with the other color, which was great for summer because I did a lot of shimmer. I see one red mark there. The skin is still healing from breakouts and discoloration. So I go in with my MAC concealer, my favorite brush, my concealer brush. You can get it at any MAC store or online. I have a little darkness you know, from skin discoloration, acne marks, but as you can see, it's pretty flawless. You can't tell I have freckles or anything. And this took me mm, not long. What's taking long is me talking. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's go in and just for fun, let's, we're gonna bake with my Prep and Prime by MAC, which I love, loose powder, and then we're gonna go in with a wet and wild shimmer. All this can be done with airbrush. I just love using different products. As a makeup enthusiast, you know, you walk in, you see it, it's like candy. That's a little bit much, so I'm gonna blend that out. This is a natural day. This isn't a, a big glam day. Well, at least not your glam day, or maybe my glam day. Okay, and then I love dragging it across the lips and nose. I bought this gorgeous red lipstick from, uh, I think it's called Besame, vintage uh, makeup line, a beautiful bright red. And with it came a gorgeous little lip brush, a mini lip brush that opens on both ends. And that almost looks like the MAC eye angled eyeshadow brush, which is kind of cool. You could use one for liner, one for lip, if maybe that's what it was for. But point being is, gorgeous little set for $24.99 on the Besame, I think I'm saying that right, uh, website. Love this, super gorgeous. I was doing a lot of poppy pinup looks, just kind of edgy, vintage glamour inspired. Anyway, we're, we're all wearing masks right now. So I take it off and I've got red all around my mouth. So I'm just going with this nude lip look. And if anything, I've been using these nudes by NYX. This one is kind of a soft brown and it's called that. 
and I don't have to work hard to follow the loop of my line. And then anyway, and then I go back, sorry, I would have done this first, but I, I just, and drag it across, and I get that little highlight on my lip. And this is, I'm just using one of these gorgeous full brushes. All the numbers, oh, it's a 225 by MAC. But all, most of the numbers on my brushes are worn out. You know, I always keep a selection of brushes on hand. Um, that's my toothbrush holder that I don't use. <laughs> and, because uh, I use an electronic toothbrush. And I have a jar. And I keep them with my airbrush makeup, and I use both. I just love to play and create looks, and I don't let the tools limit me or the rules. And I think I'm definitely a rule breaker, and it comes from just my own upbringing and background, having never fit into anybody's idea of what, what the look is. I grew up around white, blonde, blue-eyed girls on the prairies of Alberta, Calgary. And so I never fit in, and I got a lot of grief got called a lot of names because of being mixed in culture and all that. And I never let it stop me from liking people or doing things, but there's probably a little part of me that I never realized that was um, maybe sh more shy than I, than I knew or more inhibited. I don't know. It probably inspired me to do artistic things because I needed an outlet to create and feel valuable like anyone. We're just going in with the NYX. I can't remember if I did this already or not, so I'm just going to go in. And I blend out. I do not like to keep a, a, a hard line. And I wouldn't normally do that after I've done shadow, but anyway, it's done. I just want to make sure I got that done. I forgot if I did it. Anyway, yeah, so, um, you know, life imitates art, and I really believe that... Um, kind of finding, like I said, I, I just keep stressing it. Finding what works for you from fitness, health, makeup, lifestyle, money job and making it work, you know? And the things that don't work for one person works for another. That's my version of baking. I'm just helping cover the discoloration in the little spots. And I also love the kind of matteness, especially under the eye. And that's my Prep and Prime powder. It suits any skin type. And trust me, I've tried other ones, and because I have a mixed skin tone, uh, darker light, I'm half white, half Indian, and so the pre they can look whitish. Same with um, suntan lotions, and so you really want to use products that don't give you that if you have a skin tone like mine. If you're a fair skin, those products are awesome. They work great. If you have a mixed skin tone, if you're Latin, if you are... Um, even darker, like my mom's a darker Indian, she, she, that stuff doesn't work, it's crap, you know, and don't let anyone suck you into buying that shit. Um, I would use a, uh, a lighter shade of whatever it is your powder color is, so instead of using the one that matches your color, I would go lighter to bake. And if your skin tone is a little darker, um, the Prep and Prime though, seems to suit any skin type color. So um, I would try it before you rule that one out because it's it's almost nude. It's not powdery. I have another company that sent me a powder. It's talic powder. It's white. It does not work on my skin tone or anyone darker. And the, people just sell you shit. Whatever. Anyway, I'm <laughs> sorry. Today I just have had, had enough. I'm tired of people copying me. I'm tired of companies treating me badly. I'm just tired of them all and I'm really working that into my social media in regards to Posting pictures, makeup looks, doing videos that are really true to who I am and what I'm trying to project across to help you or even inspire you. Um, oh my god, I have hairs everywhere. So, dyed and colored my hair. Yes, I dye my own hair. I dye it darkest brown and it goes this black. Um, I don't do highlights or anything. Anyway, we're going to go into the mascara. I like to seal my fake to my reels and just gets rid of any extra powder or makeup and it, if you noticed, opened up the eye very slightly but it's those little details that make the difference in another eye. And then I'm going to go very gently on the bottom I'm just dragging it across, zigzagging it for the bottom. It doesn't matter what length your eyelashes are a small slight zigzag. Okay, so now we're going to since I've got you here. So that's the makeup look, just a nice light. Can wear a mask and I don't have makeup all over my face. I was wearing a clown mask and I literally look like 
the clown face once I took that mask off. And rolling around by yourself, it's not a good thing, trust me. So I've done my bangs. I use a small con air. If you watch any of my hair videos, you'll notice that. And so I'm now using a larger flat iron for the rest of my hair. I am not, you, normally I would section this out to flat iron my hair. And I really have not been wearing my hair straight. This whole summer I did big curls, vintage, kept it easy, breezy. Today I'm gonna flatten it because I'm going to cut my ends. I may go shorter, I may not. I'm not sure how much I wanna cut off. I've been spent the last year and a half growing out layers from having my hair butchered. Very nice guy, but oh my God, I, I'm showing him pictures, I'm explaining, I'm telling him where to cut, and he still layered the hell out of the ends of my hair. Because of my ethnicity and my mix, I get my weight here, and a, a Filipino hairdresser explained that to me, and this girl was amazing. She's not doing hair any longer. She's just, I don't, she's a character, she's great. Anyway, so she explained to me the weight of our hair is always here. So when I go in, I say, can you lighten and lift here? Do not over layer here because what happens is these look too sparse and thin. So when your hair grows out, it just looks awful. And if you have highlights on top of that, it's even worse. Your hair looks burnt. And one reason why I don't have highlights because I can't find anyone who really knows what they're doing in terms of color. There's a lot of great hot pink and blue and green. I'm not doing that. I can't, <laughs> you know, it's great. I love it. Power to you. Anyway, so I'm going to do a quick... I'm just gonna spray. This is not main magic. That is the bottle. I just love the spray. I put in a flat iron for straight hair in here. Always protect your hair. And I reuse that bottle because the spray is so great. I'm gonna take one inch sections. I'm gonna flat iron. Normally I would lift this section and go underneath first and then go, th and then go top. But today because I'm doing a quick flat iron for no reason other than I've been talking a mile a minute. You're probably sick of me now. <laughs> anyway, um, it's just easy ideas for quarantine on how to do your hair and makeup without stressing about it, but still doing it. As you can see, my hair is super long right now. So I just run it through a couple times. It is not on the highest heat setting. It's on about 275, 375. I don't have my glasses on. And just throw it back. And I'll just do a nice, quick straighten throughout my hair, move on with my life, not spend all day doing hair and makeup. Yeah, I just want to flat iron it so that um, I started cutting my own hair because of what was happening with COVID and not being able to get in with anyone. And then I really honestly haven't found anyone since I had one hairstylist out in Vegas. Um, I was doing a lot of trips because I was flying out there doing photography and she was great. And then she wasn't, and then she didn't show up. And so she sent me a lovely email apologizing, but I just got tired of it. You know, like I'm a professional too, and I don't talk about my personal problems. I don't complain constantly. I don't never not show up and use ex flaky excuses. And if you can't handle hearing it, don't watch the video because I loved what I did and I was fierce about it. I was always prepared. Uh, anyone who's had a session with me, either vintage hair and makeup or photography. So I will not excuse flaky. And I know life happens, but I've had a lot of stuff happen to me. And I choose not to talk about it because what you give life, what you talk about, you give life. And so I focus on the positive, if that makes sense. And it may not if you're not there mentally. And if you are there mentally, you'll get it. So, what you talk about, you give life. And so it's definitely, in, you know, falls into lines of what I accomplished with the fitness, you know. Um, I didn't sit and complain. I didn't go poor me because I was alone on holidays and birthdays and all that. Not because I don't have anyone, because I can't cross the border. And as well, my husband's away working. You know, I was like, the, I flipped it into an opportunity. Wow, I have time at home, let me get in shape. So I'm not gonna shove food in, my, in front of my face all day because that doesn't satisfy me. So you change your mindset. You change the way you think about things. You don't change what's inside you. You can't control that. You can't help from feeling sad or depressed or anxious. What you do is you watch yourself, step outside, and go, I'm gonna change how I handle this. You have your backup plans. So, you know, 
all you can do is take it one day at a time. And that's what I did with my fitness journey. I created a plan. I did my research. Um, created my plan. I didn't know if it was going to work. And then it started working and I was like, oh my God. And I just kept going. And, it kept, and that inspired me. And I get up 4 or 5 in the morning to do my workouts. And when the gym that I go to tried to sell me a a package or a trainer, I was so annoyed because they weren't listening and I told them that. I said, look, you don't talk about body types. There's certain exercises and foods you need to do. Oh, we'll keep you accountable. No, you won't. And I'm not your cash cow. And so I felt that way about a lot of businesses and services. I'm not your cash cow. I'm not here for you to dump your problems on, to take advantage of, for you to take advantage of me because you know my husband's away working. And so I took control of my life. You know? I changed my mindset and I changed my world. And I couldn't change what was going on inside of me because you can. But what you can do is you can have your backup plans and you can focus and you can calm your mind because calming your mind is the real jewel and success of life. If you can have a calm mind and handle any situation that gets thrown at you, you win. And it's not an easy thing to do. You have to find that place inside you and only you can do it. Trainers, coaches, all these life coaches, all these people to keep you, you have to do it. You have to take responsibility for your actions and who you are. And a lot of people don't want to hear that and they get offended and hurt. So I keep it to myself for the purposes of this video because I haven't talked forever. I am sharing it with you. Um, and you can simply just not listen. Anyway, if you like this video, if you like what I'm saying and you want to see more, I really appreciate the support and encouragement because I was really feeling kind of unmotivated. Like, why am I doing this? So, um, like the video, share it, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications on the latest videos, and um, I'll bring you more good stuff. And leave your comments below, things you may want to see. Like I said, I wanted to talk about my fitness stuff. Um, but I don't want to jinx it, so I want to wait two more weeks when I'm officially done. Tell you about the corset training, tell you about cutting my own hair and makeup, just really taking control of my own life. My closet, revamping that, changing my style a little bit, um, showing you all the great outfits. Uh, if you're interested, like I said, like, share, click that bell for notifications, leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.